Could trijets be the holy grail that airlines are searching for to build the perfect aircraft? They may actually be the solution. As you know, airlines earn money via passengers sitting on seats. More seats on board a plane means more revenue, right? But the problem is, is that each of those passengers costs fuel. So aircraft need to be designed balancing the cost of fuel versus how many passengers they could seat on board. In the past, airlines would operate large double-decker aircraft like the Boeing 747 and the Airbus A380. They'd be able to fly these around the world, cram full of passengers and make a boatload of money. And even today, airlines like Qantas still make a fortune from their Airbus A380 fleet. However, the problem with these planes is that they have four engines. And the only way to fly them, because we don't have the engine technology yet to just put two engines on board that, which actually does sound like a great video idea, so make sure you're subscribed if you want to see me cover what if we put two engines on board an Airbus A380. But that means that we don't have the engines to make these aircraft fly and be as fuel efficient as the Boeing 777X or 787 or Airbus A350, all of which have got two engines. So the solution might be just chopping it down the middle and having three engines. But the third engine doesn't have to be that powerful. So according to Lee Ham News, there was a concept called the Ecoliner. It was a giant double-decker plane that would replace the 777-300 and the Boeing 747. It would have two engines, but actually to solve the problem of not having powerful enough small engines, it would actually have a third engine in the tail that would be much smaller and be used as a booster to get it up to its cruising altitude during takeoff and also to serve as a backup just in case something went wrong with one of the other engines. This way you could get around the problem of the engines not providing enough thrust to get it flying but also have the fuel efficiencies of only having two engines and the passenger capacity of having two decks on board. This concept was pretty exciting at the time and it does harken back to the day of when we had the uh, the DC-10s and those other incredible uh, trijet aircraft to get around the problems of uh, having four engines. But a lot of critics have said that this means it's still not a pure twin aircraft and airlines might just be walking towards the smaller fuel efficiencies of twin jets rather than having this trijet concept. But I like to think that the idea still has merit and a few other aircraft manufacturers agree as well. We do know that Airbus, seeing these sorts of concepts, has realized that an aircraft that was smaller than an Airbus A380 with this twin jet plus one extra engine could achieve 25 to 30% lower fuel consumption than the current Airbus A380. We know that they were flirting with the idea of sort of remastering the Airbus A380 or perhaps making an Airbus A380 Neo, but perhaps this is the solution to bring back the king of the skies. Imagine if they were able to build perhaps a slightly smaller version of the Airbus A380 with its twin decks, but then also on top of that, have this tri-jet engine technology to bridge the gap until we get these more powerful engines to allow a pure twin double-decker aircraft. It would be that gap that Emirates and other airlines of their size are desperately looking for, because as you know, Emirates has a huge fleet of Airbus A380 aircraft, and they're desperately looking for ways to bring that airline into the future, because these aircraft in the next decade or two are starting to retire, and Emirates is going to be without luck. They're probably going to just have to switch to twin jets unless Airbus or Boeing offers something like this onto the market. At the end of the day, I think it's a brilliant concept and probably also because I love the idea of like 1980s aircraft, you know, that sort of whole vibe and everything. And I think that this would be an incredibly good idea. So let me know down in the comments if you would fly on board a trijet aircraft remastered for this day and age. One, two, three, one, two, three.